Once again, welcome back to JJ Maths channel and today we are going to discuss some uh, problems regarding the factoring and its day-to-day uh, uh, -day life applications. So in this section, uh, we are mainly focusing on five formulas. First one is, what is A plus B the whole square? Okay, it is A square plus 2AB plus B square. And if it is A minus B the whole square, then it is A square minus 2AB plus B square. That is the square of a sum and the square of a difference. Okay, these are the first two formula. Then next one is a square minus b square means a difference of the squares. So it is a plus b and a minus b. Then we have the fourth step, fourth one that is a cube plus b cube and is equal to a plus b times a square minus a b plus b square and a similar one for a cube minus b cube that is a minus b times a square plus a b plus b square so in this section we are discussing going to discuss these uh, identities and how to use this identity to solve some uh, problems so that's our first thing so suppose we have a question like this say first question question number one it's say uh, so here uh, 45 b to the power 6 plus 27 b to the power 5 so first we want to find out the gcf gcf of 45 b to the power 6 and 27 b to the power 5 so 45 27 we can divide that with the 3 and that will give you 15 and this is 9. Again with the 3, so it is 5 and 3. So 3 times 3, that is 9. 9 is the GCF of 45 and 27. So we can take 9 as a common term. And for b to the power 6 and b to the power 5, the least power is the GCF. So we can take that on outside. So, that is the common term. So, 9 is already taken from 45, so it is 5 left. And from b to the power 6, we take b to the power 5, so it is b to the power 1 left. Then plus, 9 times 3 is 27, and b to the power 5 is already outside. So, that is the factorization. Got it? Okay. And here is another one. 12x square minus 11x plus 2. Okay. So in this case, we cannot factorize the, uh, with the GCF because there is no GCF in 12x square and 11x and 2. We are, there is no common factor. So we cannot do by using GCF method. So we have to try another one. That is, uh, he, in here we can apply the AC method. So, we have to find the product. Product is 12 times 2, that's equal to 24, and the sum is equal to negative 11. So, we need to find two numbers whose product is 24 and the sum is negative 11. So, let us try uh, with uh, 12, uh, 24, so 12 times 12 and 2, we know. The product is 24 and the sum is negative 11. So both numbers should be negative, right? So if it is negative 12 and negative 2, it will not work because you know the difference is, I means the sum is negative 14, okay? So we take divide it by 2, so it will be 6 and then we multiply it with 2, so it will be uh, negative 6, negative 4 and let us try whether it works or not. So here the product is 
6 times negative, it's 24, it's always 24, but the sum is not equal to what? Not equal to, uh, it's negative 10, it's not equal to negative 11. So let us try, take the half of that one, so it is negative 3, and multiply it with the 2, so it is negative 8. So 3 times 8, 24, again the product is always 24. So let us check the sum. Sum is negative 3, negative 8, that is negative 11. So that works. So we can split the middle term like that way. So 12x square minus 3x minus 8x. So we took the factors as minus 3 and negative 3 and negative 8. So we split this, the middle term, 11x as like, then plus 2. Okay. Now, take the first two terms. Is there anything common? So we can now we can find the common terms here and by using the GCF. So we can see 3x is common in these two. So and we take 3 outside 4 left. When we take x outside from x square we have x minus. So 3x is already taken out so just 1 left. Okay. Now we are going to take the other common terms from the last two. Then we can see that uh, 8 and 2, 2 is common, so we can take 2 outside. So when we take 2 from 8, it will be 4 left, x of course, plus. Now it's negative 2 outside, but we need to get positive 2 inside. So when we take negative 2 from positive 2, it will be this negative 1, right? So again 4x minus 1 is common, so we can take that 4x minus common as the GCF of these two terms. And what is left? If we take this one outside, 3x left. If you take this one outside, negative 2 left. So that is the factorization. So that is the factorization of 12x square minus 11x plus 2. Got it? And let us now another one. So 3x square plus 6bx minus 3x minus 6ab. So we need to factorize that. So as it is, uh, uh, as in the first, uh, uh, first side, we can't see any common term. So because there is uh, 3s even though 3 is common, that's okay. But there is no other variable. So we can group like this way and take the common terms outside, okay? So in the first two terms, 3 is common. So 3 is the common term. And x square is here, x is here, so 1x can be taken out. So that is the only common term from the first two. So what is left? x left plus 3 times what is 6? 2. And x is already outside, so b left, okay? Now if you look at the second one, we can see negative 3 is common, again a is also common, right, 3 and a. So if you take 3 from that one, 3a from that one, we have x left. And when we take negative 3 from negative 6, it will be positive 2, a is already outside, so b, right. So again, we can see that x plus 2b is here, x plus 2b is here. So we can take that one outside, x plus 2b times, what is left? 3x minus 3a. Because we took x plus 2b outside, x plus 2b outside, so in the first term 3x and the last term again 3a. So again, if you watch carefully, you can see that 3 is a common term here. So we can take that one also as a common term. So 3 times x minus n. So what? So usually we write the uh, integer part in the first. So that's why x plus 2b times x minus n. That is the simplification. Got it? Yep. Now here is another one. That is 10x square minus 34x minus 24. So in the first loop, we can see that for 2 is a common term, right? So we can take that 2 outside. So what is left? 5x square 
minus 17 times x minus 12 right now look at the term inside the parenthesis 5x square minus 17x minus 12 so we need to factorize that one so for that we can use our previous method so that is the product is 5 times negative 12 that is negative 60 and the sum is negative 17 so this is the product 5 and negative 12 negative 16 and sum is uh, 70 negative 70 so both are negative that means we need to find out two numbers uh, whose uh, sum is negative 60 and I mean sum is negative product is negative 60 and sum is negative 70 so the so both are negative I mean the product is negative and the sum is negative that that's the way both are negative so that means it is possible only if one is negative and the other one is positive right okay so let us take two numbers so product is negative 60 so negative 10 times 6 that is negative 10 and 6 that will work that is negative 60 but the sum is not 17 right so it is sum is negative 4 so that will not work here so let us take another one so take the half of this one that is negative 5 then double of this one that is 12 and so negative 5 and 12 product is always 60 and what about the uh, sum that is uh, negative 7 right so oh we just forgot to take the uh, first one right actually there that is negative 20 20 and 3 right so at 23 so just we can start from there actually so it is negative 23 that is the negative 60 and the sum is negative 70 okay so that will work so we can factorize like that 2 is already there 5x square split the middle term negative 20x minus plus 3x minus 12 2 is there so take the common terms 5x is common x minus 4 3 is common right when we take 3 outside x left and when we take 3 outside from 12 4 left now look look at the terms we can see x minus 4 is again common so we can take that x minus 4 as a common term right so what is left 2 is already there in the outside so what is left inside so in the uh, inside bracket we can see 5x here and 3 here so it is 5x plus 3 so that is the factorization 2 times x minus 4 times 5x plus 3 got it yeah now we have number of questions to solve how to solve the equation if it is in the factorized form how to solve so what is the meaning of solution solution means to find the value of the variable which satisfies the given equation right so if uh, if we take an equation containing a variable x then our aim is to solve means we need to find the value of x right so if we take these the first problem we can see that it is uh, x minus x plus 1 times x minus 4 equal to 0 so we need to find x values so what is the meaning of the product is equal to 0 actually when the product is equal to 0 that means either x plus 1 equal to 0 or x minus 4 equal to 0 right so so that is the only possibility when the product of the two number is equal to 0 either of them is equal to 0 so if x is equal to 1 so you can just subtract 1 from both sides cancel out so x is equal to negative 1 and if you take this one x minus 4 equal to 0 and then we can add plus 4 on both sides that means x is equal to 4 so that is the solution so x is equal to negative 1 or x is equal to 4 
when we put x is equal to negative 1, the product is equal to 0. When x is equal to 4, 4 minus 4 is again 0. That's it. Got it? Moving on to the next one. It's again a similar one. So here the possibilities are what? 5n minus 2 equal to 0 or 6n minus 1 equal to 0. Plus 2 on both sides, right? Plus 2. So 2 to cancel out. 5n equal to 2. Divide with 5. 5. So n equal to 2 over 5. That is one solution. Okay. And if you take the second one, it's plus 1 on both sides. So you will get it as 6n. Cancel out 6n is equal to 1. Divide with 6. So n equal to 1 over 6. So we have two solutions. One is n equal to 2 over 5. And other is n equal to 1 over 6. Got it? Yeah. Moving on to the next one. It is 3p times 10p plus 7 equal to 0. So, we have two times. Either 3p equal to 0 or 10p plus 7 equal to 0. Right? Okay. So, two possibilities. 3p equal to 0. We need to find p. So, we have to divide both sides with 3. So, what? So, p is equal to 0 over 3 is nothing but 0. Then, subtract 7 from both. Okay. So, cancel out. 10p equal to negative 7, 10p equal to, divide both sides with 10, so p equals, p equals negative 7 over 10, that is another solution, so we have two solutions, okay, got it, in a similar way this one, w equal to 0 or 2w plus 3 equal to 0, W equal to 0 means that is the one solution. No need to find anything because W is already there. So in this case, we have to subtract 3 from both sides. Right? Cancel out. 2W is equal to negative 3. Divide with 2. So W is equal to negative 3 over 2. It's very simple, right? Yeah, that's it. Moving on to the next one. That is Y minus 8 power 2 means square is equal to 0. So that means what? y minus 8 square means equal to 0. That means y minus 8 times y minus 8 equal to 0. Right? Because it is a square. Just like x square. x square is what? x times x. Just like y minus 8 odd square is y minus 8 times y minus 8. That's why. Okay. So the product becomes 0 means either first y minus 8 equal to 0 or the second one equal to 0. Right? Add 8 on both sides. 8, 8 cancel out. So y equal to 8. And here again the same way. So plus 8 plus 8. So this is 8 and cancel out. So y equal to 8. Okay? So both the solutions are the same. y equal to 8 and y equal to 8. Got it? Yeah, that's it. Similarly, we can do the next one. x plus 1 the whole square means x plus 1 times x plus 1 equal to 0. x plus 1 equal to 0 or x plus 1 equal to 0. Again x plus 1. Okay. Subtract 1. Same thing here also. This cancel out. x equal to 0. Canceling out, so x equal to, I mean, x is equal to 0, negative 1, so it is negative 1, 0 minus 1, negative 1. So, both have the same solution, and the solution is x is equal to negative 1. Got it? Yeah. Then, let us have another one. It is not in the factorized form, but we need to solve that one. So, in this case, first we need to factorize that, okay? So, we can apply the is there any common term? No. So we want to factorize that product is equal to negative 8 and the sum is equal to 2. Right? Okay. So let us, so the product is negative 8 and the sum is 2 means both of them will be, will have opposite sign and the sum is 2 that means the bigger number is two, positive and the net and the, uh, 
yeah list number will be negative okay so what is the product so we can do one time eight times one <coughs> eight and one so it is eight but the sum is not equal to two so both of the bigger number will be positive and this will be negative so the sum is negative seven uh, no i mean seven it is not working here so if you divide it with the two so it is uh, four and multiply it with the two so four and negative two so and uh, this product is negative eight and sum is four minus two that is two so that work okay so we can factorize like that so x plus four times x minus two equal to zero now it is in the factorized form now we can apply either x plus 4 equal to 0 or x minus 2 equal to 0 right so subtract 4 from both sides cancel out x is equal to negative 4 add 2 on both sides so it's this cancel out x is equal to 2 so the solutions are x is equal to negative 4 and x is equal to 2 got it that's it and one more solve 2y square minus is equal to 13y plus 45 so in this case uh, the one side is not equal to 0 just like in the previous case so we need to equalize e e equate one side to 0 for that we can what we want to do you have to subtract negative 13 y right you have to uh, do negative 13 y on both sides okay then we have to supply this one also so negative 45 so minus 45 so when we do that pref arithmetic here so that will be this side will be 0 so 2y square minus 13 y minus 45 equal to 0 right so we have the equation 2y square i, I i'm uh, going to write that again here okay so it is the 2y square minus 13y minus 45 equal to 0 now we have to factorize that one so for that we can apply az method here the product is the product is 2 times negative 45 so it is negative 90 sum is negative 13 okay so the product is negative so both of them will be uh, will have the different signs and the sum is negative means the bigger number will be negative okay so let us try the uh, factors so it is um, 90 uh, times 90 and 1 so if it is 90 then product is okay but the difference is not equal to 30 okay so half it is negative 45 and this is 2 again product is correct but the sum is not negative 13 so let us try uh, with another one okay now we can divide it with 3 and this with uh, multiply with 3 so it is negative 15 and it will be 2 times 3 6 again that will not work okay so again we can divide with the 3 so it will be negative 5 and multiply it with 3 so 6 times 3 18 and so um, it is uh, here the bigger number is 18 so we want to switch the sign here so here it is negative 18 and 5 because the biggest number will be negative then only the sum is negative okay now we can check whether in in all the previous cases the biggest numbers are negative that's why we don't care about that one but in this case the uh, now it changes that's why so 18 is negative and y is uh, 5 is positive so take the difference difference is 13 negative 13 that works and the product is always 90 okay so the numbers are 5 and negative 18 okay so we need to factorize that one okay so it is uh, 2 y square now i'm going to write it as uh, plus 5y minus 18y minus 45 equal to 0 okay so what are the common terms here 
these are the common factors so we can take uh, y is the only common time so 2y plus 5 then the uh, GCF is uh, 9 so we can take 9 outside so 2y plus 5 again equal to 0 okay so it will be again 2y plus 5 is a common term so 2y plus 5 times y minus 9 equal to 0 so now we can find out like factor. so either 2y plus 5 equal to 0 or y minus 9 equal to 0 subtract 5 cancel out so 2y is equal to negative 5 divide with the 2 so that is y here add 9 on both sides so cancel out so y equal to 9 so we have two solutions again and one is y is equal to negative 5 over 2 and other is 5 equal to 9 so the thing is that we, have to, we want to factorize and then we need to do the simplification as in the previous case okay and here is another problem a rectangular garden has an area 15 square feet the length of the garden is two feet more than the width so i'm going to uh, draw a rectangle garden here this is my rectangle okay and the area is 15 so the total area is 15 but we don't know the length and the breadth but one thing is given, length of the garden is 2 feet more than its width. Suppose this is the width, so I am going to take the width as W. Then the length is length L. L is length of the garden is 2 feet more than its width. So its width is W. So 2 feet more than W means more than, means 2. W plus 2. So l is given l is equal to w plus 2 so we can replace that by w plus 2 now we have the length and width so what is the area of the rectangle area of the rectangle is length times width right okay so length is w plus 2 and width is w and the area is given to be 15 right now we can distribute this like this way. So it is w times w, w square, 2 times w, 2w w is equal to 15. Subtract 15 from both sides. Okay. So this side becomes 0. So it is w square plus 2w minus 15 equal to 0. Right? Now we can solve that one. So it is w square plus 2w minus 15 equal to 0. So we want to find two numbers whose product is product is negative 15 sum is 2. So product is negative means both of them have different signs and the bigger number is sum is positive so the bigger number is positive. Okay. So the, what are the possibilities? So 15 times negative 1 it will not work so we can take it as uh, they divide with 3 so 3 means it is 5 and it will be negative 3 5 and negative 3 and that works here right 5 minus 3 is 2 okay so it is w plus 5 times w minus 3 equal to 0 now either w plus 5 equal to 0 or w minus 3 equal to 0 subtract 5 so it is w is equal to negative 5 and add 3 here so plus 3 cancel out so w is equal to 3 so these are the possibilities but you know the length of the garden actually we got w here right so w is equal to 3 and w is equal to negative 5 but we know it is a rectangle. So for a rectangle, the negative width is meaningless, right? So we cannot take this one because it is negative value. So we have to take only positive value because the, the width of something is always, is a scalar quantity, it's always taken to be positive. That's why W is equal to 3. 
okay so we can take w is equal to 3 so we got w is equal to 3 now we need to find l length so what is l l is equal to 2 units more than so w plus 2 that means w is equal to 3 so 3 plus 2 that is 5 so the length is 5 and the width is 3 so that the area is equal to 15 got it yeah one more problem that is this one the shortest leg of a triangle is 7 feet shorter than the other leg the hypotenuse of this triangle is 13 feet what are the lengths of two legs of the triangle okay now let us draw a triangle okay so this is the triangle and let us take this side as this this is the shortest side and the other side is this one okay so let us take the what is the given the shortest leg of a triangle that means this side is seven feet shorter than the other leg so other leg is this one so let us take this leg as x and the hypotenuse is that means this is the hypotenuse that is 30 and why why is the shortest side and what is given why the shortest side of the a, a triangle is seven feet shorter than the other leg the other leg is set x so y is equal to uh, seven feet shorter than the other one so x minus seven okay so this is the uh, dimensions of the triangle now we know in a right triangle pythagoras theorem is there right what is pythagoras theorem x square plus the length square plus altitude square is equal to hypotenuse square so x square plus y square is equal to hypotenuse square so h square so here x square plus x minus 7 the square is equal to 13 square right okay so x square plus this we know x minus 7 the times x minus 7 is equal to 169 okay so this x square then we can distribute that like this way so x square minus 7x then this way again minus 7x then plus 49 equal to 169 so we can add the like terms so x square x square 2x square 7x minus 7x 14x plus 49 equal to 169 now we can convert that into an equation by subtracting 169 from both sides minus 169 this side becomes 0 this is 2x square minus 14x when we subtract that we get minus 120 equal to 0 okay now we can uh, take a common term from here so it is uh, 2 is common x square minus 7x minus uh, 60 equal to 0 right now as in the previous case we can factorize this as 2 times x minus 12 x plus 5 okay equal to 0 then so what is that now the only so divide both sides with the 2 okay 2 so we got x minus 12 times x plus 5 equal to 0 divided by 2 is 0. Now what is the equation x minus 12 times x plus 5 equal to 0. So that means either x minus 12 equal to 0 or x plus 5 equal to 0. That means add 12 on both sides. Here, uh, yeah, so it is cancel out. So x is equal to 12. That is one possibility. And the other one is subtract 5 from both sides. Cancel out x is equal to negative 5. But this length of the uh, triangle is means the side of this triangle is always positive. So this is not possible. So x is equal to 12. Okay. So this is 12. And so what is this? 12 minus 7. That is okay so these are the dimensions of the triangle okay got it so that's all 
So these are some simple applications and how to solve and how to factorize these equations. Okay, I think all of you got the idea. And so goodbye from goodbye from me for the time being and let us see with some other videos. Till then, goodbye.